Hi, I'm Josh Filstra with Native Instruments, and I'll be introducing more features in Machine 1.6. In addition to plugin hosting, Machine 1.6 features several workflow enhancements. Many of these are the direct result of requests from our users. Furthermore, Machine 1.6 gives you even more opportunities to work directly with the hardware and less with the mouse. Machine now features adjustable swing per sound. You can find this via the new tab system. It's on the Groove tab. And here, you'll see a swing amount that will affect only the selected sound. I've selected the hi-hat, and here you can hear the swing being adjusted for just the hi-hat. A great shortcut for this is to hold the pad in question and then turn the master swing knob. It will do the same thing. Machine now features pad link. This is a feature that allows you to strike one pad and have it trigger others. This is great for getting an instant layer effect. You set this up by hitting the pad mode button. Any pads that are assigned to the same link group will trigger each other. I'll put these three snare drums in the same link group. Now as you can see, all three of those are being triggered via this one pad. Furthermore, you can set up a master-slave relationship. I'll change these two pads to slave and leave the first one at master. Now the pad that's set as master triggers them all, whereas pads set to slave only trigger themselves. Another new feature in Machine is internal drag and drop of audio. This is similar to the existing drag and drop of audio feature, but you can drag audio from one portion within machine to another. The procedure is very similar. You'll just click on the crosshair in the group, wait for it to bounce, and then drop it on the destination. And now the audio has been bounced to that particular sound. This is really helpful for freeing up resources if you have a very CPU-hungry plugin, for example. In fact, I'll go back to the existing group and disable the original plugin. And now its part only exists as audio. Machine now allows you to rename certain objects such as Clips Within Scenes. Just double-click on the clip and give it a name. You can also directly rename samples now. Just make sure you're in the Sample Editor, and then just double-click on the sample and give it a name. Machine features some enhancements to the way you duplicate objects. Firstly, Pressing the Duplicate button and then pressing the Plus Event button will ensure that when you copy this pattern, it will also make copies of the pattern events. Secondly, pressing Scene, then Duplicate will give you a new option, Plus Pattern. If you select this, then make a copy of the scene, it will also make copies of all the patterns in the scene that are not bound to the originals. You can then make changes to those patterns without affecting the original scene. Let me show you some of the new drag and drop features in Machine 1.6. Firstly, you can now drag multiple samples into Machine's mapping editor. I have several kick drums selected here, and I'm just going to drag them in, like so. Moving the mouse up and down will also control the horizontal span of the samples. You can now also freely rearrange scenes and patterns. If you have any unquantized events in your pattern and you have the grid enabled, dragging those events 
will make them automatically snap to the grid. Lastly, you can now drag files directly from your operating system into machine. Machine now features up to 16 stereo outputs. You can get to these on the output tab of the machine hardware. And here you can see I have a total of 16.